Yo, what is the word? What is the word? What is the word? Speedy is in the building. Back with another episode of Internet Wars. And hopefully, I don't think, actually, nah. I was going to say hopefully this is the last time we talk about the Drake and Kendrick shit. I feel like something actually notable is going to happen. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we might as well talk about that real quick before it does happen. Um, Drake has a lot of loose ends. Future, Rick Ross. Then there's some beef in the background. Um, Future and Gunna. Chris Brown and Offset. Uh, Chris Brown and Migos. I mean, Chris Brown and uh, Quavo. Goddamn. Um, and then there's speculation whether or not if Kendrick has another diss track. You know what I'm saying? Because say if the Heart Part 6 was actually fired. Kendrick would have had to drop and under the 24 hour rule he probably would have you know what I'm saying had some already prepared you know what I'm saying especially since you already dissing him probably some bars he's like oh I'm gonna save that for later save that for later put that all in a folder you know what I'm saying so he probably got something like beat already picked out and everything named the song and everything he just needed to throw some uh some rebuttals in there you know what I'm saying that's usually how the shit work but you know what I'm saying the hard part six wasn't really all that fire so that kind of opened up the opportunity for Kendrick to go in for the finishing blow. Like I'm saying, uh, overkill John. Like really some shit, like a 10 minute song or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Nigga done pulled 80 million views. Why not drop another John with another 20 million, get 100 million views in a week? You know what I'm saying? Because all them, all them tracks drop within seven days, right? So if you drop another 100 million views in seven days, just shit on them real quick. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm thinking tactically and strategically, it would make sense that something else is coming. You know what I'm saying? And then, like I said, you got the shit in the background. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got motherfucking the whole future throwing, you know what I mean, more shots at Drake. You got, you know what I'm saying, niggas clowning Drake all kind of crazy. So it's like, you know what I mean, what's, what's going to happen? Like, you know what I'm saying? Drake posting cryptic messages and shit like that. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Is this the end? You know what I'm saying, or will it be, or will there be more? <clears throat> you know what I'm saying, it's been a while since I actually was like kind of halfway interested in talking about something that has to do with like mainstream music. So that's part of the reason why I'm doing so many videos on this. But at the same time, there also isn't much to talk about. So I want to, you know, what I'm saying, have enough. Uh, this that way when we get to the next story you know what i'm saying if y'all not fucking with it you know what i'm saying you just go back to watch the other videos that you know what i'm saying because each one of these five videos is all different you know what i'm saying the first video is different the second and third and fourth and the fifth you know what i'm saying but they all do coagulate and they all do you know what i'm saying have something to do with each other you know what i'm saying they all reference reference each other and all that like you know what i'm saying but yeah like Y'all think it's some more skeletons in the closet? Y'all think, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's so much that's on the table. You know what I'm saying? That it's like, what, what y'all think? Because, like, say, say, say if Kendrick just opened up a whole can of worms where it's like Drake trying to deny the allegations, but then say if a whole Me Too thing come out. You know I'm saying? I think the last person they tried to Me Too shit with was Usher, right? And that shit ain't work. Well, I mean, like, it was people after Usher, but, like, I'm talking about as far as, like, trying it with, and it didn't work, you know what I'm saying? And Usher is, like, you know what I'm saying, a Drake type of name as far as me and the type of songs that he make, his persona and shit like that. So it's, like, would a, would a Me Too movement work on Drake, you know what I'm saying? Me, personally, I don't think so. I think, I think even if he was doing some of these things, Based on how the law works, whoever else was involved will also have to be penalized. So it would either be selling out of court or they just not saying nothing at all. You know what I'm saying? Seeing that Drake is one of those types of names, I feel like it's more of, you know what I'm saying, you don't even need no hush money. Y'all think, y'all think Drake got hush money out there? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like when you see a Diddy type of nigga, Diddy not really like super soft affectionate type of nigga he really like a emotional you know I mean 
he like he like he like emotional dyke. You know what I'm saying? People call those emotional lesbians. You know what I'm saying that's that's really what Diddy is like. You know what I'm saying whereas Drake is more like a actually like feminine. Like you know what I'm saying. So I mean, he probably wouldn't had that type of energy to you know what I mean do certain shit. But he might play like mind games and you know what I mean might play with your psyche and shit like that but then if you allow that now you gotta kind of take responsibility even though you were coerced into the situation you would have to admit that like you know what i'm saying so it it wouldn't it wouldn't it wouldn't like decrease the crime but it would one confirm what the uh what society has like as far as like um society's vision and image of drake it would confirm that but it will also then open up a whole nother you know what I'm saying it would it would just prove a lot, a lot more. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like this shit could actually get a whole lot worse than what it is, you know what I'm saying? And I was reading the comments again. I, I enjoy the the main reason why I like internet was the fact that, you know what I'm saying, it brings people together that, you know what I'm saying, regardless if they agree or not, they can still be part of the same conversation. They can all watch the same video and you know what I'm saying, do the same thing I did. The only difference between me and the comment section is I uploaded the video. You know what I'm saying? Y'all still part of the conversation. Y'all still contributing to the video the same as I am. Like, you know what I'm saying? You might sit there and write a whole paragraph. I just, you know what I mean? I just posted a whole 15 minute video talking about this shit. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? What is a paragraph to that? You know what I'm saying? A paragraph might only be like a minute and a half of me talking. You know what I'm saying? So I'd be wrong not to, you know what I'm saying, include you into that conversation unless you just, you know what I'm saying, on some left field shit that it's like, you mean like it don't even got nothing to do with anything? You know what I'm saying there are you mean and those are actual haters. Like you know what I'm saying there, there will be there will be, there will be people that come around and actually hate. But it's like you know what I'm saying. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying. I just want to give y'all that quick shout out real quick. Just the fact that you know what I'm saying y'all be around. You know what I'm saying participating in the shit. Even the people that just watch. Like you know what I'm saying. It's just crazy. We got a hundred hundred clicks in one hour. Like, what the fuck? This channel is just uploading similar content to me. But I can tell it's because either the way that I'm speaking or just the visuals or you I mean something is a huge difference. Cause these people got like five, ten times more subscribers than I doing. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting off topic. I know. My apologies, I'm getting off topic. But you know what I'm saying, yeah. I I wanted to y'all y'all are still part of the content. Like you know what I'm saying, there's a whole video dedicated to the comment section. So it's like I, what I was gonna say is I was reading the comments and y'all was bringing up some good points that like really made me think like damn yo like it is a lot deeper than what it is even beyond the lyrics just the reason behind the beef and the reason why Drake was throwing sneak shots in the, in the first place the reason why like Kendrick came out dissing you gotta remember that he had multiple freestyles and multiple verses where he was just dissing these like you know what I'm saying so it's like if Kendrick don't even need a reason to diss a nigga why would he not take advantage of you know what I'm saying like I, like I don't think kicking Drake while he's down is a crime like nah bro yeah that nigga down but we deserve to see blood like you know what I'm saying we want more yeah you done yeah you got a couple deep cuts but going for the kill like you know what I'm saying that's what we, that's what a lot of people really want to see they really want to see Drake you know what I'm saying up out of here so it's like with the last video it's like <clears throat> That that journey ain't really get noticed yet, you know what I'm saying? But with the last video, I was talking about if like if Drake could recover, you know what I'm saying? I'm not too sure. You know what I'm saying? But with one of the other videos, just just the shit that people were saying, like as far as like the business side and the actual music industry side, y'all actually know what y'all talking about. Y'all actually know what like what actually goes on. So the fact that, you know what I'm saying, that, that that's even in there. You should understand just the first five minutes of the video. Like, I'm saying, you should understand where I'm coming from. It's like, do you think it's, I mean, like, is it unreasonable to say that this shit ain't over? I know a lot of people think it's over, but it's like, one, it makes sense for Kendrick to be like, all right, I just gave y'all three, four, five songs. Let me wait and then drop another one as soon as y'all think it's over. You know what I'm saying? Like, would that make sense? Do that make sense? Is that, is that a, a reasonable a reasonable thought to have like I'm saying is that a reasonable expectation what if Kendrick already had some shit written down or some shit already recorded but because the heart part six was so ass he went back and edited it you know what I'm saying so he's like you know what, let me go you know what I'm saying 
Like that that's the points that I'm trying to make. Like you know what I'm saying, like what do y'all think is actually gonna happen next? You know what I'm saying the last time we spoke on what's gonna happen next as far as Drake's side. Now I'm asking what's gonna happen as far as Kendrick's side, you know what I'm saying? All the all the loose ends and everything, what's gonna happen now? You know what I'm saying? Y'all think y'all think it's over? Do y'all really think it's over? Cause I truly don't think it's over. But you know what I'm saying I don't really want to hold y'all all that long. You know what I'm saying I spent probably like seven minutes talking about it. I gave y'all a little three minute shout out. Again, my apologies, but I like doing shit like that. You know what I'm saying I'm very much aware of what's going on. You know what I'm saying the videos are actually doing very well. Again, I compare my views to what other people got, and I only got a thousand subscribers. <clears throat> and um, out of those a thousand subscribers, I think. Only 50 of my actual subscribers tune into my channel. You know what I'm saying, so what all the what all the new viewers and y'all turn into subscribers and you know what I'm saying all that. I want to make sure that y'all know that this is going to be the regular content. Like you know what I'm saying, there's going to be that. There's going to be music. You know what I'm saying, I might do some gameplay here and there. You know like you know what I'm saying, but for the main, I like doing this shit. That way we can all be together and all understand. Like you know what I'm saying, what's going on. And then, you know what I'm saying, then we can do some shit if we build a, a nice little community or something like that. Do other shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Because we, we on the road again, fucking monetized. I just found out that shorts don't um, count towards public watch hours, so I ain't uploading shorts no more. And I'm about to delete a whole lot of shorts. So, all, all the, really everything that I got is from the long form content. My long form content is even starting to perform better than my shorts. You know what I'm saying like if I upload a short right now, that joint can get like 500 views. You know what I'm saying like it, it, it might not. It might only get 191. I thought the the Kendrick and the Metro Boom video was only gonna get like 190, 200. That shit had that in the first day, two days. Like you know what I'm saying. Now that joint just went up 300 views today each. Both of them joints went up 300 views. So it's like damn. You know what I mean we might as well just keep feeding this because this is what motherfuckers wanna see. This is what we gonna give y'all. Like you know what I'm saying. And we gonna let y'all know that's what we giving y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be it's it's hyper aware content. Like you know what I'm saying, this is more than just me. It, yeah, it's my channel. Yeah, it's my video. Whatever. But that only matters oh so much. If y'all the people that's putting in the support and the energy to to really open up <clears throat> more opportunities for me to do more videos, then you know what I'm saying I'd be wrong to you know what I'm saying keep doing my own thing. It'll be it will make more sense to keep doing was working like you know what i'm saying and it wasn't working before that's the main reason why i want to keep shouting y'all out because i enjoy indulging in my blessings but i want to acknowledge that that is a blessing that is a privilege like you know what i'm saying i understand what it's like to be on youtube six seven eight years and not really get promoted and get pushed and shit like that and then finally youtube be like yo you know what your content is actually a little all right that shit is watchable you do get you mean a little traction or whatever let's throw you a bone like you know what i'm saying like I went from 150 impressions to 300 impressions and impressions is like when you're scrolling down and you just see that I uploaded a video, you know what I'm saying? Went from 150 to 300 and then it stayed at 300 for a little second and it just went straight up, like you know what I'm saying? For years that shit was at 150, you know what I'm saying? It was a couple joints that, you know what I mean, did they little thing, but I mean, <clears throat> um, as far as content that we got coming up, um, um, I want to get into the Diddy situation because they got some uh some uh some developments going on like I'm saying so I don't know if I want to do like just some breaking news type shit or if I want to like give y'all a little mini recap before we actually do the video like I'm saying but either way I'm gonna try to come at y'all with some uh well pause I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna try to get y'all some uh, pause I'm not gonna say that either I'm gonna post some shit about the, uh, you mean the whole Diddy situation. See, see, uh, what the fuck going on? But I'm gonna wait a little second, cause you know I'm saying niggas is starting to speak a little bit more. You know what I'm saying, uh, Jaguar Wright, she's, you know what I'm saying, her name might get brought up in that, cause she got some information about some shit going on. I don't know, uh, fucking, what's the boy, uh, King Combs, whatever that nigga name is. You know what I'm saying, Diddy's son, he got caught up in some shit, so it's like, you know what I'm saying, um, what else is going on? I got the better rap bullshit coming for y'all, you know what I'm saying? I got um I got the world news coming for y'all, like you know what I'm saying? So I got like three, four videos in the tuck just ready to be uploaded, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what those videos is gonna do though. Like you know what I'm saying? 
But what I will say is these these like these these first five and these next five videos are all gonna be blogs. Then I'm gonna try to upload some type of gaming content because the oblivion ship was doing, you know what I'm saying? So it's like I mean, I wanna give everything to everybody, like you know what I'm saying, pause if necessary, but I got a lot of different you know I mean segments that I do on here and I don't like the you know what I'm saying, have too many stretches where it's just me overloading with this and overloading with that. Unless it's something that a lot of people watch. Like, if I do 10 songs in a row, that's cool. If I do 10 blogs in a row, that's cool too. But it can't be 10 blogs about the same shit. I just did five videos on Drake and Kendrick Lamar. Unless something major happened, we ain't giving no fucks. Like, you know what I'm saying? We done said everything we needed to say. You know what I'm saying? It's like an hour and a half worth of content down there. I know it's at least an hour, so probably, probably like an hour 15. <clears throat> worth the content, you know what I'm saying, just talking about Drake and Kendrick Lamar, gave that enough energy, you know what I'm saying, we definitely did profit off of the time that we put in there, so that's cool, you know what I'm saying, and this is really just a recap of everything that we done posted and what we got going on next, you know what I'm saying, really just an update video, but at the same time, trying, you know what I'm saying, what y'all think, you know what I mean, like, let me know, there's still some substance in there, even videos like this, update videos, I still want to have something for y'all to talk about in the comment section, you know what I'm saying, Y'all might be the reason why I do the next video the way I do the next video. Like, you know what I'm saying, um, if you do see this and you interested in, in just anything I was speaking on, put that shit down in the comments. That way, you know what I'm saying, I can speak on it because I haven't recorded some of the videos I haven't recorded yet. The Diddy shit I ain't recorded yet. So, you know what I'm saying, if there's anything that, you know what I'm saying, y'all specifically want to hear about that y'all don't really hear people talking about, you know what I'm saying, we can do the research and try to bring that shit up and try to have a conversation about it. It might turn to two, three videos, you know what I'm saying. Uh, that's 17 minutes of me. I'm saying I appreciate everybody's tapping in. I appreciate everybody's watching all the way to the end. I think it's like five or six percent of y'all. This I'm saying, regardless of how the conversation goes, you know what I'm saying you do listen to everything I gotta say. You know what I'm saying y'all um, leaving more than one comment. You know what I'm saying y'all are liking the video. You know what I'm saying y'all even dropping subscriptions, and I don't ask for any of that. But definitely continue to do so because it helps the channel. You know what I'm saying. Like I said, we damn near about to get monetized and shit like that. And if having six likes get me motherfucking 100 clicks in an hour you know what i'm saying i appreciate it and um when we first get monetized what i want to do is i i want to reinvest into the channel like you know i'm saying everything i got right now either i did pay for it or it was from the sponsor like you know i'm saying so seeing that the people are putting their time into it we want to you know what i'm saying if we get paid from youtube we want to put the money back into youtube and then we're going to put it back into the channel and then you know what i'm saying we're going to try to do i mean see what happens from there you know what i'm saying but at this rate i do feel as though we're going to get monetized you know i mean we might do that shit this year you know what i'm saying so appreciate everybody's been tapping in everybody's been showing love and all that i said 17 minutes but now it's 18 minutes you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah, this is this is how the content is usually gonna be. This is how I like to do things, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and this content doing this type of content the way that I'm doing it, this is what kinda put me in a motherfucking algorithm. That shit is crazy. Like real rap. I ain't think that this shit was actually gonna pop the way that it do. But it did, you know what I'm saying? Internet wars, we got like thirty five episodes now, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate y'all for tapping in, man. I know I said that shit a million times, man, but y'all gonna hear that shit a whole lot more. Speedy out.